Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing my long-awaited Crimson Belly videos. I'm going to be talking about what Crimson Belly Conyers are really like. I have a lot of experience with them now, so I've learned a lot about them. So I thought it'd be interesting to talk about them with you guys. Now, I'm also going to be including other people's opinions, not directly as quotes, but I've talked to a lot of other Crimson Belly owners. So I thought I'd give you more of a well-rounded opinion of them rather than just basically mine. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to do more Crimson Belly content in the future. I want to do a much more detailed video for you all. But I thought I'd get this out just if you're considering getting a Crimson Belly or if you have a Crimson Belly con you already and you want to kind of share what they're like with everyone. So let's start by talking about some of the physical characteristics of Crimson Belly Conyers. Now first is that beautiful coloration they have. They have a very striking chest which comes in when they reach adulthood and maturity. They have these beautiful blue, vibrant blues and greens, all sorts of lovely colours on them. They also have a much stronger beak than many other Conyers species. It may not look much larger but that beak is a lot stronger and does a lot more damage. Further to this, they also have a shorter tail because most of the time when they're flying around, they don't have to fly as long a distances, they need more maneuverability. On top of that as well, they also tend to be slightly heavier and larger than, for example, green cheeks, other conyers. And it's really important to remember that they are a totally different species of conya. They're not a mutation or a variant of green cheeks. Crimson bellied conyers are a totally different species. So I thought I'd talk a bit about their personality as well. And I'm going to talk about the positives of their personalities, and I'm going to talk about some of the problems and the difficulties you may face if you do have a crimson belly conyer or you're going to get one. So let's talk about positives first. They are highly inquisitive. They will investigate absolutely everything. They're similar to green cheeks in this way. They love to explore, love to see all around their environment. It's really quite cute to watch. They're also very vocal. I've noticed that many Crimson Bellies are very vocal, both our own and other people's. They love to talk, they vocalize an awful lot. They sometimes sort of like chatter and whistle to each other. It's very, very cute. They're also highly intelligent. They will pick up tricks very quickly. They will learn very quickly. And if you put in the training work with them, you'll find them very responsive to training and very enthusiastic to do it. They're also very cheeky because of this. Because they're so inquisitive, because they're so intelligent and talkative, they love to explore. They will be cheeky and they will test your boundaries. Sometimes in a very positive, funny way, other times in less so. So these are lots of very positive elements of their personality and things that make them endearing in general to anyone who is thinking of getting one or already has one. I've talked about the positives of their personality. Now, if you're considering getting a Crimson Belly Konya, I'd strongly recommend you pay very close attention to this part of the video because it is the most important. They have lots of positives, both in their appearance and in how just smart and funny they are, but there's lots of negatives. A lot of people compare them to cockatoos. They're often called mini cockatoos purely because their personality is quite erratic and they are quite difficult to look after. Many owners I've spoken to absolutely love their Crimson Belly Conyers, but they all say basically that they can be a challenge at times. Now, one of the most common misconceptions about Crimson Belly Conyers is they are just like green cheeks. And apart from their size and general shape and the fact they're a Conya, they are very different in many ways and their personalities are very different. So it's something really important to keep in mind. Now, Green cheek conyers are quite easily overstimulated by sounds and vibrations, but if you have a crimson belly conya, and many people have said, they take it to a next level. They are exceptionally easily overstimulated. It can take very little to get them overstimulated and potentially biting or displaying hormonal behavior. On top of this, they're very sensitive. They can be very anxious, and this anxiety or fear can be displayed through aggression. They're not generally biting because they're angry or they hate you. They're just generally biting because they're fearful or worried about something in the environment. Their sensitivity extends to all sorts of changes. Because they're sensitive in general and easily overstimulated, changes in their environment can trigger all sorts of issues. So it's very important if you do have one or considering to get one, you want to keep a nice stable environment for them, at least initially, so you can work, do some decent work and get them settled in more. Kipling's a perfect example of this. He is a great Konya, full of personality. However, he's very sensitive to change and that does display for aggression sometimes. Two of the factors that um, both we have found and that a lot of other people who I've spoken to who have crimson belly conyers have found is that crimson bellies are a lot more nippy and bitey. They will tend to bite a lot harder than green cheeks because green cheeks will tend to nip. Crimson bellies will bite a lot harder when testing their boundaries. It's a similar behavior in some ways. They like be testing or just beaking, but sometimes it can be related to fear or all sorts of hormonal aggression issues. And that leads on to my final problem with them. And that is, 
their mood shifts very quickly. It can take a click in the fingers for their mood to shift. You could be doing some training with them and a bird can fly by in the window, that can worry them and the next thing you know you're getting bitten. And it's probably one of the most difficult things I find personally to deal with them. I'm very used to green cheeks and sun conyers and I don't find it's quite the same with them. With crimson belly conyers that mood shift is just so sudden it can catch you off guard even if you're experienced with them and yeah it's just a challenge and I find it a very big challenge with um, training Kipling and even um, Charlie as well because Charlie's very bonded to Sophie already with me he's a bit more hesitant so it's something to bear in mind with those sudden mood shifts will happen and you need to be ready for them. So guys that brings me to the end of this very brief introduction to Crimson Belly Conyers I hope you found it useful if you want to see any more content about them in the future I'm happy to do something more detailed but in the meantime from me well, just me today. Take care and have a really good day.